Jonah Hill, if you're ever going to be in a situation where you feel like your girl's acting up, you pull a Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill goes, plain and simple. If you need surfing with men, boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, to post sexual pictures, friendships with women who are in unstable places from where your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful. Damn. I am not the right partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it and there'll be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for my romantic partnership. My boundaries with you based on the ways these actions have hurt our trust. You see what he did? You see? That's how you handle that situation. If you're Jonah Hill, that's how you handle that situation. I mean, if you're Darius, that's how you handle it. And like, bringing it up to the... Because when, when she... So, these are the texts that got leaked through Jonah Hill's girlfriend. And Jonah Hill's girlfriend leaked them, thinking that everyone... Piggybacking off the Kiki Palmer shit, thinking like everyone was going to be on her side. Nope. Did not work like that. It didn't. Everyone was like, nah, leave Jonah Hill alone. We ruined for Jonah. Because Jonah Hill's always catching stray bullets for no reason. Kanye comes out of nowhere. I like Jewish people now because I watched 21 Jump Street and Jonah Hill was in it. Like, people, whenever someone brings up, like, whenever Jonah Hill's out and about, oh, he lost weight. What the, what the hell happened? That's why he doesn't like doing interviews. You know what I mean? Everyone was getting at him about the CGI kiss with Lauren London, but you like, come on, you gotta, you gotta know. Like, Lauren London just went through the thing with Nipsey and all that. And then do you want her to be her, one of her first roles back? She's already, she has an on-screen kiss. Like, I don't think she feels comfortable doing that. Like, and then now all of a sudden, Jonah Hill's catching a straight from his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. So like, to me, I just wish that people just leave Jonah Hill alone. Just leave him alone. And this is how you go about it. If you are ever, ever going to have any complications with your significant other. This this is the best way to go about it. How I that's how I feel about that situation. And now we're off of that. So what else do we got? Um but also like one more point. If I'm a dude and my girl doesn't like how I'm dressing, like I dress like shit. Like she doesn't like how I dress. I'm gonna dress a little bit better when I go outside, not to like not to disrespect her because she's an extension of me. I'm an extension of her, right? Because we're in a relationship. That's what it is, right? So it's like, she tells me like, yo, I don't like how you dress. You need to dress better. I'm going to dress better. Get some more swag. Do my thing. And I'm going to dress better. I'm going to try my best to do better, to dress better. What I'm not going to do is, I'm not going to sit here and try to assume and make justifications for my shit and then... And then when she does it, get mad at her. And then when I'm doing the same bullshit, like this nigga has pictures of him with his shirt off and his undies on and like, you know what I mean? So it's like, you can tell her, oh, dress like this and do this, you're a mother. But then you have your little bullshit that you do. You know what I mean? So it's just being a hypocrite. If my girl tells me to dress better, I'm going to dress better. It goes vice versa. If your guy says, hey, yo, you're, you're not single anymore, you know what I mean? You're with me. Like, can you please dress a little bit better? You know what I'm saying? That's it. And look, Jonah Hill didn't say anything about how she dresses. So, which is pretty smart. <laughs> All right. So, um, we got that out the way.